Well, it's been a month since red tide hit the Sun Coast, and a Florida U.S. representative will turn to Washington, urging Congress to help. SNN's Crystal Knowles has the latest. Every year, red tide causes loss in revenue, millions of dollars, and right now in Sarasota, Manatee County, the red tide is still lingering. Moat senior scientist of ecotoxicology Richard Pierce says the microscopic algae known as Carinia brevis is affecting tourism. Cancel their uh, reservations at beach motels and hotels. People don't go to the restaurants if you got dead fish floating around. While Sarasota resident David Wetchen is not letting it affect the beginning of stone crab season. I was diving for stone crab yesterday. I caught plenty of them. But he also caught something he didn't bargain for. I mean, I had a little bit of cough. For some reason, it produces several neurotoxic chemicals, very much like pesticides, that affect the nerve the system of fish, turtles, manatees, and people. Florida U.S. Representative Verb Buchanan is addressing this issue upon his return to Washington, asking Congress for funding as part of the year-end funding bill. Monitoring mitigation and, and research on uh, control technology. There's still a lot of unanswered questions. It's not something that we are causing. The question is, are we enhancing it? Some ecologists suggest that it might work as a forest fire does in a forest. It might weed out some of the overpopulation of certain organisms. There's no telling how long it will last. We've had red tides that last two weeks. We've had red tides that have lasted over 18 months. Continuous funding is the only way to find out more about the natural occurrence. They hope congressional leaders start taking action. In Sarasota, Crystal Knowles, SNN, Suncoast News Network. And Moat Senior Scientist says red tide is affecting shellfish the most because they're filter feeding mollusks causing accumulation of toxins which makes it dangerous for consumption.